Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will discuss how to get system and hardware information of your computer using Python. We often look at our system information and open the task manager to see the utilization of our CPU and RAM and look through the processes running. There is a convenient way of retrieving such information using Python in a few lines of code. Uh, to continue following this tutorial, we will need the following two Python libraries, platform and psutil. The platform module is already installed by default, and if you don't have psutil installed, please open command prompt on Windows or terminal on Mac and install it using pip. The platform module in Python allows us to access the underlying platform's data. This includes computer network name, machine type, processor type, platform type, operating system, operating system release, and operating system version. Let's see how we can retrieve that information. So first we will get the computer network name. We will need to use the dot node method of the uh, platform object. Next, we will get the machine type. And to retrieve it, we'll need to use the dot machine method of the platform object. Uh, we can also get the processor type. And this can be retrieved using the dot processor method of the platform class once again. Um, next, we'll get the uh, platform type. And this can be retrieved using the platform method. Next would be our operating system. And this can be retrieved using the system method. Uh, and the last two would be the um, operating uh, system release. And then we will do the uh, operating system version. So for um, operating system release, we would use the uh, dot release method. And for operating version, it will be the same thing, but with the version method.
Now let's run this code and see what information we retrieved. Perfect. So this basically gives us the information of the computer that you are working on. And to verify the output, you can check the uh, system information on your local computer and compare it with the information that is provided to you as an output from this module. To make explanations in this section easier, let's first take a look at the current system information of our computers. On Windows, you can search for system information in the search tab and open it. Here we're interested in the information about the processor we have. So my computer, I have Intel Core i5 8400 with 2.8 GHz with 6 cores and 6 logical processors. Now, Python library PSUtil allows us to get the stats of our CPU by using Python, and we will explore how to retrieve the above information. To get started, we should import the library. Now, as the first step, we will try to get the number of physical and logical cores using Python. Let's find how many physical and logical cores we have. A logical core is the number of physical cores multiplied by the number of threads that can run on each physical core. So in my case, each physical core has only one thread, meaning that I have six physical cores, which translates into six logical cores. Now we can get that information using the CPU count method which returns a numerical value of the count of cores. And here we would need to set logical equals false because we're looking for physical cores. Now using almost the same code, we can get the logical cores. We would need to set logical equal to true. Uh, let's run this code and take a look what we get. Perfect. So the number of physical cores is six. The number of logical cores is also six. So it's the same information that we retrieved from the system information as well. As the next step, we would get the um, CPU frequency. We can do this by using the CPU underscore frec method which returns a named tuple of values floats that measures frequency in megahertz. Current frequency, min frequency, and max frequency. So first let's get the current frequency. dot current now using almost the same code we would get the min frequency and we'll switch this to min and same code to get the max frequency let's run the code Okay, so the current CPU frequency is 2808 MHz, the minimum is zero, and the max is 2808 MHz. It looks exactly like what we see in the system information. Lastly, 
we would be able to retrieve the CPU utilization percentage using Python. The most interesting information is the utilization of your CPU. This information you should be able to find in the task manager. As the processes that you run on your computer change, the utilization is dynamic and changes constantly. As we have six cores, we can get uh, the overall CPU utilization or the average of six cores, as well as uh, the utilization of each CPU um, using the CPU underscore percent method. And let's set interval equal to one. I will explain why we're doing this a bit later. Now, using almost the same code, we will get the per CPU utilization. Um, so interval is still one, and we would need to set per CPU equals true. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so the current CPU utilization is 49.5 percentage uh, and um, current per CPU utilization is basically the percentage utilization of each core, whereas here I have six. Now, notice in both cases I set interval equals to one. So it should ideally be set to any value greater than zero in order to compute uh, the um, CPU before and after the interval. So if we set it to one, uh, it basically takes one second interval. If you set it to three, it's going to be a three second interval. And what ends up happening is that it actually makes the measurements of beginning of the interval and the end of the interval comparable. In this section, we'll discuss how to get the RAM usage using Python. Continuing with the similar steps as in the previous sections, we will use the dot virtual underscore memory method. It returns a name tuple of numerical values that measure memory in bytes and usage in percentage. So we can get the total available and the percent used. Uh, let's start with getting the total RAM. Now recall that this will return you value in bytes and we would like to get the gigabytes. So we would need to divide uh, the bytes value by a billion since one gigabyte contains a billion bytes. And just for some smoothing, uh, let's round it to two decimal places. Now, the next part would be our available RAM. So almost the same code. Now we would just need to specify that we're looking for the available RAM information from the return tuple. Next, we would get the used RAM, also almost the same code, just specifying that we would need to get the used RAM information. And lastly, 
we are looking for the RAM usage in percentage. So we would do print RAM usage. Since this is going to return the percentage value, we don't really need um, to do any of the rounding. I'm just going to add the percent sign at the end. Now let's run this code and take a look what we get. Okay, so the total RAM installed shows up as 17.05, available RAM 6.1 GB, user RAM 10.95 and my current RAM usage is 64.2%. In this tutorial, we discussed how to get system and hardware information off your computer using Python. Um, please check out the original article that I wrote on my blog. Link will be in the description of the video. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions or have suggestions for some edits. Um, and like and subscribe to my channel and check out more of my Python programming content.